Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Live. I cannot believe it's Friday already. I am not kidding, it totally snuck up on me this week. I forgot to even post pictures of it earlier in the week. Even though I had it all prepped, I just, it, time got away from me. It is the last week of summer vacation here in San Antonio, and I'm so excited. Uh, the kids are excited. They're I think they're ready. <laughs> we have had some, <sighs> It's time. It's time for them to go back to school. They are obsessing over things they don't need to obsess about. We'll just say that. Um, and they have too much free time. So mommy is happy. Kids are kind of happy. And next week, I will be able to think clearly again. I will have peace and quiet in the house. Yay. Hello, those of you joining. Thank you so much for finding me today. Um, I am going to share this really quickly over on um my Pink Buckaroo Designs Facebook page. I have two different pages. I have a group, which is what I'm on right now. Um, everybody's welcome on this group. Um, the reason why I have a group and a Facebook business page is because um, in a group, you see more of what I post. So over on the business page, Pink Buckaroo Designs, I might post something and you might not see it. That's just the way Facebook kind of feeds things into your feed. So for those of you who love Stampin' Up! and want to see everything, that's what this group is for. So just a little tidbit. Um, let's see, I'm going to share this over there. Um, all right, I'm going to pull it up so I can see your comments. Hopefully. Okay, good. Let's see. All right, so welcome everybody. Thank you again. If you're watching in the replay, of course, like I always say, that's how I catch my Facebook Lives is in the replay. I can never catch them live. Um, this week, I am doing three projects using this adorable little stamp set called Leave a Little Sparkle. And I have to tell you that I took kind of a different spin with it. I wanted, at, at first, I wanted to kind of go the route of all the other projects I've seen, those bright, vivid colors, kind of rainbows. And then I pulled back a little bit and I'm gonna show you a picture that I found on Pinterest um, when I typed in vintage unicorn. And that photo kind of um, served as the inspiration for all my projects. I like to share with you guys kind of how I get my ideas. Um, they come from all different places. And this photo is really what served as my starting point for these three projects. So we're gonna get to this, the stamping in just a little while. Um, I wanna, as we wait for everybody to join, I'm gonna kind of run through all my little announcements. Uh, my Wild To A Wild Rose class, today's the last day to register. Um, I am not going to be making any extras of these. Usually I make a couple of extras, but this one is very heavy on cardstock and big pieces, so there won't be any extras of this. If you wanna register for this, please do so today. The link is on the PDF and the blog post over on pinkbuckaroo.com. Here's, it's a mini album and it has a card and the, the gift box as well. Then there's a second Wild Rose class designed by my friend Rhonda, and I only have this photo. <laughs> I don't have the projects, um, but you can buy both of those kits from me and I will ship them both in the same envelope, which saves you shipping. You save $5 when you buy both classes and you get a free pressed petals journal, which will also include a PDF showing you two different ways to design your pressed petals journal. So check that out. Um, Today, let's see, where's my PDF? Um, every Facebook Friday, I type up this PDF right here, it has our projects. Then on the second page, it has all the little announcements I'm gonna tell you about. So right here, you can type in that link right there or click on the bottom of today's post um, and it'll take you over there. But today, last day to register. Hi, Trisha, how are you? Um, okay, so that's that. Then, we also have our product shares available. I'm trying to think of how I want to show you guys this. Do I want to flip it? Nah, I won't flip it yet. Ribbon, here's all the ribbon. I think all of it's in here. I've been using it up a storm this week, so I've been pulling it out and putting it back in. These are all the holiday ribbons um, in the new holiday catalog. Can you guys see them? This one right here is my favorite, the black scalloped border. Stampin' Up, if you're listening, we want this in all the colors. <laughs> all the colors, white, real red, melon mambo, it's awesome. But right now all we have it is in black. Um, there's this really beautiful big ruched ribbon, I think that's how you say it. Um, we've got some skinny, like little, real red, um, 
Oh, like a trim. I don't know what else to call it, but it's really neat for Christmas. This one's beautiful. If you love uh, seaside spray, that's what this one is, and it's sparkly. So anyways, all of these ribbons are in the new holiday catalog available September 4th, but I'm offering them in a product share, and a product share is a great way, hi Vicki, is a great way to get a little bit of everything. You know, if you were to buy all of those ribbons, right off the bat, it would be over $100. But in a ribbon share, you can get one yard of each, um, and it's not very expensive. And of course, I don't have the prices right here in front of me. You'll have to click on that link to go see, but it's relatively, I, don't, I can't remember right now, but it's not $100, I can tell you that. Um, and then also I'm offering the papers in the same way. I put this one up front because you know it's my favorite. There's a bunch of different new papers in the holiday catalog. And I <laughs> offer the share, Mac has, says hello. Charlie is upstairs. I don't know why Mac is barking. He probably thinks I'm barking at some, or talking to somebody. Um, so all these papers come in the paper share. You can get it two ways. You can get it six by 12, which is what this one is, or you can get them all six by six. The reason why these are six by six is because the paper packs only come six by six. Um, so if you get the six by 12, then you're getting these bigger papers. Um, six by 12. If you get the six by six, you'll get them all that size. Depending on what you use them for. Scrapbookers, we like to have them in these big six by 12 pieces. Um, but that's a great way also to get a little bit of everything. If you ordered all of them right off the bat, it would be a lot of money. And if you're like me, you want it all immediately. Um, so this is a great way to get it all immediately. And I wish I had printed off those. I had them last week, the prices, but now I don't have it in front of me. But if you buy both, you they ship together and you get some free things okay so if you're interested in product shares make sure you go over click on that link on my blog or on the pdf today go check it out uh sign ups will close on the fourth okay september 4th all right how about some prizes oh and i'm going to show you guys the halloween class i just finished it I'm very excited i've been giving you some little sneak peeks um and yesterday i posted my favorite project so far um and today i finally finished the last project. So I'll show you that. Well, I'll I guess I'll show you right now. Monster Bash is the new Halloween um, suite. It's the stamp set. It's called Spectacular Bash, and the paper is called Monster Bash. And you guys, I love Halloween. I don't know why. I love it. I love pumpkins. I love maybe it's the weather, the candy, but it's so cute. So here's the, the Halloween set I'm using for this year's class. We've got um, Mummy and a um, vampire. He's, he's not too scary. And some really beautiful fonts in the uh, sentiments. And look at the jars in the middle. I love the jars. Um, so I use that and the dies and these dies you guys will be great after Halloween they're not Halloween specific but one of my long blonde hairs is stuck in here I don't want to show you that um, and here are the dies look at them they're all frames so you will be able to use these on every kind of project and I guarantee you I'm going to be using them a ton in the next few months so they coordinate um, so that's what I use to make these projects um, there are six projects. I'm gonna list this tomorrow, hopefully. The monsters are the cutest, I know, they're so cute. Um, and you're not a generally Halloween fan. Well, that's interesting, um, because the, I feel like it's very Halloween-ish. However, if you look at like this one, the paper is gorgeous. That's non-Halloween paper, I think, um, and, and beautiful. So some of it you can use. Um, and I really like the colors. This little paper, look at that, um, it's like a, it reminds me of that game Clue with the, the map. So anyway, six projects. It'll come with or without the stamps if you need them, want them. It'll come with a bolt of ribbon and a third of a pack of the epoxy stickers, which I don't think I have them in here. They're really cute. Um, let's see, see the bird right here? He's an epoxy sticker. And then, um, oh, hello, one of them is a, tombstone these are a packet of little boxes that you buy and assemble and they're so easy these are so good um, those those are in the new catalog so that'll the class will include one of those um, but anyway it's coming tomorrow hopefully tomorrow 
maybe Monday, we'll see. Um, but I will be taking pre-orders for that. And that's Halloween and Val my Halloween, Valentine's and Easter classes are by far my most popular classes all year. So I really take my time to make those projects useful and not overly complicated. Um, the PDF that comes with my classes are um, step by step. They're not just gonna tell you how to assemble, they're gonna tell you how to create them from scratch also. So if I, if you get the kit and you make them and you wanna make more, you have the PDF that tells you the measurements, the score lines, all the tools and everything that, that you will need to make them. All right, so be on the lookout for that. I'm so excited about it. Okay, let's do, um, let me see, uh, the holiday catalog. This is the holiday catalog that I was talking about. Hopefully everybody who I've mailed one to got them, I mailed them, Oh, like a week and a half ago. If you want one, please let me know. If you don't have a demonstrator already, I am happy to send you one for free. I'm not gonna charge you. I want you to have it. It's wonderful. Not only is it a catalog, but it's an idea book. There's lots of projects. And to tell you the truth, you guys, when I feel um, like uninspired and I don't have any ideas, I just go to the catalog and copy the projects in the catalog because they're always really, really good. Um, so. This is not available until, you can't order from this until September 4th, unless you buy the starter kit. The starter kit deal right now is spectacular. You get for just $99, there's no shipping, hello, free shipping, for just $99, you get to pick out $155 in product. And they don't tell you what to order and they don't require you to order certain things. That $155 is anything that you want. And you can pick from this catalog. That's the best part. So $155 for $99, anything you want from here or from the um, annual catalog or even the clearance rack. You can put clearance rack things in your starter kit. Then they're doing something else. Next month, they send you a $10 coupon to spend. Hello, so really you're getting $165 um, for just $99. And you also will get 20% off all your purchases after that. So it's an excellent deal. Um, I always uh, laugh and say, no, you don't have to do Facebook Live <laughs> if you buy the starter kit. You don't have to do a class. Um, if you want to, of course you can. And I am um, gonna help you with any of that. I do trainings for my team all the time for those who want to or you can just be your own customer. That's what most of us sign up for, you guys, honestly, is to support our habit. Raise your hand if you have a craft habit. I think most of us do. This is for those of you that love Stampin' Up! and wanna get that discount. You can buy it and be your own customer, your only customer. So don't feel like you're gonna be required to do anything that you don't wanna do. It's yours and you can do with it whatever you want. Details on my blog, on the PDF. And if you guys have questions about that, please email me. I've had over 20 people join my team um, this month. So it's an excellent deal. And there's nothing scary or weird, I promise. All right, how about some prizes? You guys, we had the most shares last week as we have ever had. So thank you for that. It was a ton. Um, and same with the views. There were a ton of views last week. I don't know if it was maybe the sneak peek products that everybody wanted to see, but I appreciate it. And that was wonderful. So thank you for sharing. When you share the video, um, it helps me find new customers, new crafters, new people who want to learn about Stampin' Up, who want to learn Halloween projects, who want to learn how to use embossing paste, which is what we're going to do today. So thank you. So I chose two people at random last week who shared and, and Carol and Deb. You, I don't know how to say either of your names, and I know it's backwards. So Carol Kowaleski. Carol, you know who you are. Carol, congratulations. You are winning the um, picture, the or capture the good, and the watercolor pencils. And Deb Schwemlein. Man, I picked two hard ones this week. You are winning the same prize. Both of you ladies need to email me your address. I don't have either of your addresses, I don't believe. Um, so email me your address, you have two weeks, okay? And I'm gonna send you the prizes, thank you. So thanks so much, I do greatly appreciate your sharing. This week I've got host sets that are super cute. Have you guys seen these? I don't even have these myself. I ordered them for you guys um, in a bolt of that beautiful Seaside, I can, why can I remember the name of this color? Seaside Spray, I keep wanting to call it Soft Sea Spray. is <laughs> not what it's called. Seaside Spray Ribbon. So I've got two of these. I will pick two people to, to win these and um, all you have to do is share, share the video, all right? 
All right, so now I think it's time to flip the camera and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about today. Oh, there is one more thing, the tutorial bundle. We have about a week left for August. This is the only month you can subscribe. When you subscribe to the 12 tutorials, you get one month free. You pay for five, you get one month free. Um, in August and February, the only months you can do that. Um, so if you're interested in this, make sure you click and go find. It's 12 tutorials for free. I email them to you every month in the first on the first. And um, you also get them for free when you spend $50 with me. Free. We love free. All right, and don't forget, oh, you know, I didn't even print that cute little photo out that I had. I'm gonna flip the camera around, but um, I'm giving away blends, a free set of blends with every $50 you spend between August 15th and August, through the end of August. Sorry guys, it's a mess when I do this. So just close your eyes, pretend like it's not happening. So free sets of blends with any online order that is over 50. Ah, you guys. Man, I'm making a mess. I dropped my microphone. Everything went away. <sighs> Maybe it's a good time to go get a snack while I make a mess. Um, so let me hook this back up. Everybody close your eyes. Okay, so free set of blends. Two markers, that's a set, two blends of your choice with a $50 order. And that's $50 pre-tax and shipping and $50 after you spend any of those coupons that you may have, okay? Um, I got a, a lot of ladies who emailed me last week with their free blends choices. I've, 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 what am I trying to say? I have ordered them and they are supposed to arrive today. So if you did a Facebook Friday order last week and you got blends, they are going to be shipped later than normal, okay? I usually like to order to mail those the Tuesday afterwards, but I had to order those blends. Oh my goodness, are you guys still there after that that disaster with the microphone? I'm trying to move this so I can see your comments there too, okay? Okay. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay. So, Facebook Friday. Oh, where did that come from? Hmm, that's a Lone Ranger there. I don't know where that came from. Facebook Friday, I pick a stamp set or a product or whatever and I design several projects with it. This week I did the Leave a Little Sparkle, which is the unicorn set, and I saw lots of you um, commenting that you had just bought this set or you wanted this set, and so I'm really glad that I chose it because I could tell you right now, you guys, I can't see your comments. What's going on? I'm trying to find them on my iPad and it's not showing me. Um, well, pooey. Now I'm really not gonna be able to see what you guys are saying. Um, all I wanna do is play with the holiday catalog stuff right now, you guys, but I don't wanna show you stuff that you can't order because then that wouldn't be fun, right? I wanna show you stuff you can't order. Well, I don't know. I can't figure out the comments right now. Um, I can see the last two comments. That's all I can see. So guys, please um, forgive me if I miss your comments today, okay? I will go back and look afterwards. <clears throat> so anyways, so I, I do three projects with a stamp set. And so I picked this stamp set. We're gonna talk about it in a minute. And every week I do this PDF right here. It has the three projects, all the supplies listed that I use, and any measurements you need. These really didn't need measurements this week. Just a card base, really, um, nothing else. Um, and I send you these for free with an order, a minimum $35 order, I'm using the host code. Same, still applies. If you bump that order to 50, then you're gonna get those stamp and blends for free, those markers that we're gonna use today. Um, and you just have to message me and let me know which markers you want, okay? So then I send you the projects for free. This is what they look like. Here's the last few sets of projects. Here's last week's, <clears throat> you always deliver. Here's when we did check you out. I always make you a little thank you tag to put in there. Um, and I mail them to you for free the following week. So it's a pretty good deal. It's kind of like going to a card class on Facebook. Free with a purchase. Your projects are free with a purchase. Here's the host code you need to use. And, uh, has to be in by Monday, and I'm gonna start saying the date because there's been some confusion. Confusion To qualify for these free projects, your order has to be in by Monday, August 16th, no, 
August. What is happening? August 26, 2019. Because sometimes you guys come back and watch these, you know, like a month later, and then you want the projects. And I can't do that. I only do them, I only offer them current this week, okay? If you want them for free. All right, so I told you that I did a little searching online to get some inspiration. And there are some really beautiful things out there using the stamp set. And they use those bright colors and rainbows. And that's where I was headed when I first started designing. I actually bought like a rainbow nail file I was going to do something with and like this rainbow. I don't know. Anyways, I totally changed gears because I felt like... I wanted to show you something different than what you're gonna already see when you search this on, on Pinterest. So I, I searched vintage unicorn and look at this cute little watercolor picture that came up. It's soft, it's um, using the subtle colors, it's not that rainbow that we're seeing everywhere. So I thought, you know what, let's take a different turn with the unicorn and do this. And it reminds me of when I was a kid, you know, like when I was about 10 early 80s, you guys, um, everybody was into unicorns and it, my room were, were these soft colors. I don't know if my mom's watching, but they were soft yellows and I don't know, it just reminds me of that. So that's what I went for. And you can see when we color this guy or girl, we should call her a girl. This was my inspiration, okay? So when you are trying to come up with ideas for projects, you know, you, we start by typing in the stamp set on Pinterest, right? Which is totally fine. Um, but sometimes I like to search things that are different than the actual stamp set. Um, one thing I really love to do is search cakes. So you could type in um, unicorn cake or unicorn cookies. You can find some really cool things that way. Um, and, it, and it serves as a, a starting point. Now it's not necessarily going to give you, you know, a full card layout to, to copy, but it's going to give you some ideas, some colors, in a direction to go. All right. Okay. So I've got my stamp and blends here. We're going to use all of these. We're also going to use this heirloom frame. But first, let's start by coloring him. And I have cut out. Hmm. I pulled that ink out, and I think I put it in the wrong basket. Yep. Yeah, here it is. I have cut out a whisper white oval. This oval is. Just our layering ovals, and it's the largest one, okay? Now I need to make sure that my stamps are clean because I threw all this in the basket last week and then didn't do anything with it. All right, so we're gonna stamp her, and I feel like that's too high. I'm gonna go back and do it on the other side. I want her a little bit lower, right in the middle. I'm stamping her in crumb cake, okay? Usually when we use our Stampin' Blends, we go with Memento Black, but you don't have to. You can go with um, one of our classic inks, work just fine. And I'm gonna start by coloring her hair light Rococo Rose. Now Rococo Rose is one of our new in colors. You guys, I don't color very well stamping up. Stamping up. <laughs> Standing up, oh my gosh. My words are very hard today, I don't know why. We have already been to the dermatologist today. We have been to Target. My daughter, this is weird. So my middle daughter, when we were on the cruise, her face broke out really bad and she is never, she's 12. And she is, you know, she's had a you know, a few little pimples here and there, but I mean, it was bad. And and I, I got on to her, I said, you need to stop picking at your face. And she was like, I'm not. And I mean, it, you know, it looked like she had really been picking at her face. So I got home, ordered her some Mary Kay. We've got it going and it's kind of clearing up, but it's not healing, you know, those little I don't want to be gross, but you know, they pick at it, it should heal, but it's been like three weeks. So I got in with a dermatologist this morning. You guys, she said it's a staph infection on her face. She starts school on Monday with a staph infection on her face. I felt so bad because I didn't know that's what it was. Her ear had started, started like, oh, I don't know, it's bad. So just kind of as a warning to you guys, I'm taking this dark Rococo Rose, you guys. Just as a warning to you guys, you know, like if you have a kid or child who um, 
their face breaks out and it's very scabby. Ooh, a gross, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm grossing you guys out. Don't wait, go to the dermatologist. Cause I mean, she walked in the door and she was like, yeah, that's a staph infection. So then I felt bad. But the good news is we've got everything we need to treat it now. I'm blending this darker color into her hair, into her beautiful mane. So we've got um, medicine and I feel like a staph infection is a little bit easier to treat than really bad acne, which is what I thought it was. Poor baby. You know, being 12 and 13 is hard enough. Um, <laughs> but add in a staph infection on your face. I sure wish I could see y'all's comments. This is really frustrating to me that I can't see them. I may pull up my computer in a second. Okay, so now, hi Arlene. I can see the last two comments on my phone, but I can't see them unless I stand up. Now, I'm gonna take my crumb cake, stamp and blend light, and I'm just gonna kind of go underneath to create a shadow here, right here like this down that way, okay? Just a little, Add a little dimension. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Okay, now we're gonna do some die cutting. We're gonna we're gonna cut out these little flowers and we're gonna cut out this frame. So this, have you guys seen this? This is these are the heirloom frames and embossing folders. They come together. There's a an oval and a rectangle, and you cut this and then you put it in here and you emboss it. It's gorgeous. Um, part of it is on back order right now. I think that the it's the embossing folders that are on back order, but you can still order it. You don't have to uh, wait. You can order it and they'll just ship it when it co comes in. Then we're gonna cut out the little flowers in, um, that looks like gorgeous grape, but it's, it is gorgeous grape. Hmm, it's supposed to be Highland Heather. Okay, we're going with it. Highland Heather and Pool Party. And do you remember these? These were the, the um, in the uh, occasions catalog in the spring, I have to look up the name because I can't remember. Lovely flowers. We did a whole Facebook Friday on these. Lovely flowers. We're gonna use this right here to cut out these flowers. All right, so get your die cut machine. You guys, there's something else I need to tell you also that I have not told you and you might've seen it already. Um, next week and i will i will i will uh, li put it up on facebook to make sure i give you the exact right date next week the last shipment of trimmer blades is coming in and help me out you guys is it the 26 those of you that know i need i will look it up and i will let you guys know beforehand um it is the the last the very last shipment of the trimmer blades for the retired trimmer. Now, if you have tried to order these in the past, sorry, I don't have my tool, I gotta get it. If you have ordered these in the past, you know it is like crazy hard to order them. They sell out in like 10 minutes. So I hesitate to even tell you guys because honestly, I think you guys should just walk away from the retired trimmer. You know, honestly, it's retired. This is the last time you can get these blades and it's a mess, it's hard, everybody gets frustrated and upset. But if you are determined to get those blades, I just want you to know that it's next week. But here's the other part of that news. Our new trimmer, which I have played with, I got to play with it, I got to try it out over on uh, when we were in Greece. It is amazing. Oh good, you guys, 27th. Okay, what day of the week is that next week? The 27th, Tuesday, Tuesday. Um, the new trimmer is coming. And if I were you, I would wait. You know what, I'm doing this backwards because I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. First thing we have to do is cut this oval right here, okay? Crumb cake oval. Cut it out on your regular platform or your magnetic platform, whichever one you use. Then get your oval. I feel very scattered today because all the kids are here, my husband is in and out, things are crazy, blah, 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 you know, mom brain. Um, then take your Big Shot platform, put it on here. We don't need this one anymore. You take your oval, it's easier to cut first, then emboss. And you're gonna lay it in here and get it situated so that it looks centered. And I can't remember, let me see, is this too much? Yep. You only need one. I always have to try it, I can never remember. 
one clear plate. Da, da, da. Or do I need the new plate? Tell me, I need the new plate. Hold please. Good thing I have it right here. This is the new embossing plate and it's for the new embossing, the new 3D embossing folders, you guys. You have to use it. Believe me, I've tried using a shim, coming up with something, just buy the plate because it's, it's so much better. There we go. And all you need is one, okay? So the embossing, the new embossing plate, embossing folder, Big Shot platform or die platform, whatever you're using, if you're not using the Big Shot, okay? Clear as mud, I'm sure. All right, now let's move this guy out of the way. Back to what I was telling you about the trimmer. Blades come out the 27th, but if I were you, I would just hold, hold and wait because our new trimmer is coming. It is coming on by the end of the year. We don't have a um, date yet, but it is coming by the end of the year, which is not far. And it's relatively inexpensive. So I think if I were you and you feel frustrated about, um, sorry, I'm getting my mat. If you feel frustrated by the situation with the, where is it? If you feel frustrated by the situation with those retired matte blades, you guys, then just let it go, okay? Let it go because I think this new trimmer is a lot better than the old trimmer. I was not a fan of the old trimmer, I'm gonna be honest. I, you probably noticed I didn't use it very much. All right, so we have cut out these flowers. You only need a big one and a small one in each color. I'm gonna use my Take Your Pick tool. You can also use your uh, simply scored tool. I have just my foam mat, which is a mess. Yes, I've stamped on it. <laughs> and I'm gonna do like this. See how I'm just kind of going around the center to make them stand up? This is a really neat trick that a customer showed me many years ago. She did it in the palm of her hand. She said, look, you just go like this. But I like to do it on my mat. Okay, cool, right? Then get your glue dots. I sure wish I could see what you guys were saying. I hate that I cannot see what's being said. Where is that in the catalog? The new plate. Lisa, great question. It is not in the catalog. They released it after the catalog came out. So you have to find it online. And I did not put it on the PDF. I did a couple weeks ago and then I didn't do it this time. Search um, on the store online embossing plate and it'll come up. I think it's $10. So uh, yeah, it's not in the catalog. It's only online. All right, so I put the little baby in the big one and it's so cute. And now we're gonna take these metallic pearls and I'm gonna take my dark Highland Heather and I'm gonna color one and then I'm gonna take my dark pool party and color the other like that. And you could let it dry for a minute and then add some more. You could do this to your pearls also. Really any of the jewels you can color with the blends. And I'm gonna put it right there in the center of that flower. There we go. Okay, done. Now, Let's layer up our beautiful, our beautiful little unicorn. And I'm just gonna use my glue dots. You know, <laughs> I know I'm not gonna say it. it. My video looks a little blurry. I don't know about you guys, but mine looks a little bit blurry. But hopefully when I upload it, the recording, it will look better. There, how cute. Oh, so cute. Reminds me of the 80s. Now take some, let's see, I don't know. Do we need many dimensionals? We'll use many dimensionals. And hmm, here's the back side. I'm gonna put some dimensionals like this. My sweet husband came home to get my car um, it needs an oil change and to take our teenage daughter in her car for their oil change. So that's where he is right now. And he's going to come in and Charlie's going to go crazy. Charlie's supposed to be upstairs with Emma. We'll see. 
So there, now he's framed. She, he, I don't know, what do you guys think? He, she. Now I have a sneak peek for you. Part of this card has a sneak peek. These are the stitched star dies in the holiday catalog. Aren't they cool? You know, I love anything stitched. And these are stitched stars. But they also have all these other cool little things. So I saw that and I thought, well, that needs to go with a unicorn, right? So I cut it out of vellum. So I did that ahead of time. We're going to use that. We're actually going to cut it in half. And before we put all this together, let's add a few stars in the corner. And this star stamp is in this stamp set. It's from the same stamp set. And now let's load it up. Actually, let's do the twine around the center first. So I kept everything neutral except for our beautiful unicorn so that she would really pop off the card. I'm going to wrap this around my card about three times. And then let's spread these out. We want them kind of crisscrossy. Is that a word? Crisscrossy? And I'm going to finish it with a bow on the side. Thank you. I love it that you guys love it. Thank you. Sometimes I don't love something and it has to sit on my desk for a while. I have to look at it to decide. And this was one of them. I had to sit on my desk for a little while for me to decide if I loved it. But then I definitely the next day came in and was like, yes, I love it. All right. Let me think how I want to do this. I think I'm going to adhere these on the back like this. I can't remember how I did it. So we're gonna just take a little bit of adhesive and put some adhesive here. The thing you have to remember with these stars is that we don't want them coming up over the card, then it wouldn't fit in the envelope. So when you place them on there, kind of eyeball it and see, make sure they're not going to not go, there we go. And then some more dimensionals. Those star dies are going to be very popular. It's a big die set. Um, there's a stamp set that goes with it too, of course. <laughs> you guys, I don't know if you can see, but I'm peeling from my trip right on my hands and it's making my hands look really old. I meant to take care of that, but things happen today. All right, there we go. Isn't she cute? Oh wait, no, no, wait, wait, there's more. We didn't do the sentiment. Um, the sentiments in this set, you guys, I I don't know. They're good, but they're just, mm, they weren't exactly what I wanted. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Believe. Um, make your dreams come true. So these could be like for somebody, you know, going off to college or whatever. Really all of them. But for this one, I, I wanted something small. So I got, I went and looked through my stamps. Remember, most of your stamps have sentiments in them that you can use with other stamps. And I saw this one. This is the Daisy Lane stamp set. It's your time to shine. And I thought, okay, yes. That one goes with a unicorn for sure. So just get yourself a little sliver of Whisper White and stamp that in crumb cake. Now, if you don't have this stamp set, the Daisy Lane, you just look through your stamps. I kind of like doing that. It's kind of like a challenge. All right, what is the perfect sentiment I can find somewhere else to go with what I'm doing right now? All right, and we're just gonna put that right across there. So cute. I actually, I'm gonna make a bunch of these, I think, for birthday cards. I think they would make great birthday cards. What do you guys think? Instead of, it's your time to shine. Well, even that would work, and then you could put happy birthday on the inside, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, let me clean up a bit, and I'm gonna bring my computer over here because I can't stand not being able to see your comments. It's driving me crazy. If something were happening, I would not know. If we had some, like, I don't know something weird going on. I need to know. So let me turn this on while I'm also, whoops, I shook the camera, cleaning up just a little bit. <sighs> All right. Now, you guys know it's super hot here, but we've actually broken the hundreds. We're not in the hundreds anymore. We're at like 98. But let me tell you, it does make a difference. 
And I was watching a video of my friend Rhonda um, just earlier today, and it started pouring down rain while she was doing her video. And I was so jealous, so jealous. I haven't seen rain in a very long time. Like, I, like, well, it did rain here yesterday, but not here, here. But it's been several months. Okay, we're ready to move on. I think I can see your comments. Let's see. All right. What did I miss? I have the same. I don't know why all the notifications marked. What's wrong? Is it because you're not getting notified? Yeah, you guys, I know that's very inconsistent on Facebook, getting notified when someone goes live. I have done those two, those notifications, and they don't always work. I don't know. I cannot figure that out either. Okay, next, we're doing a little box, and it's got another sneak peek. Do you see the, how the stars are shiny? We're going to use some new crystal effects from the holiday catalog that I love. I'm so glad crystal effects is back. This is the perfect parcels. Is that what, what it's called? Perfect parcels, I believe. Let me double check so I don't tell you the wrong thing. Perfect parcel box, yes. And it can be intimidating, but I'm gonna show you. I've made a bunch of them now, and so I've got it figured out. See how it opens and look what's inside. Unicorn poop. We've talked about this before. Anything that's called poop is very popular, especially if you do a craft fair or something, it'll, you'll sell out. Snowman poop, reindeer poop, unicorn poop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to do. And those, these little unicorn poops were from Amazon. Um, you can get them also from Oriental Trading. I've ordered them from there before, but these I got from Amazon. All right, so let's make our little box first. The perfect, perfect parcel die looks like this, and you're going to need to cut two of them. You can see the die set comes with lots of other things too, but we're just going to use this today. And you can cut... You'll get one box out of a full sheet of cardstock, right? So I cut my cardstock in half, five and a half, and I'm going to cut one at a time because the score lines are a little bit better that way. You can cut two at a time, but the second one, the, the score lines that it creates, isn't necessarily as deep as you want them. And on something like this, I want to be able to see them. Okay. All right. Here in Michigan, 75. Carol, 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 you're going to make me cry. Oh, I'm coming to Michigan next month, and it better be nice when I get there. The last two times I was there, it was not very cool in September. Okay, so here is what they look like. And you're going to burnish all these lines. But before we do that, we're going to add some of these stars that we just used over on the card, the little stars. And let me clean it. And whoops, mine doesn't have the sticker on it. I need to put the sticker on. And we're going to put some crystal effects on these stars. Now, be warned, the more stars you put on, the more crystal effects you have to put on. So <laughs> decide if you're mass producing these, just do a few stars. This is again Rococo Rose, and it takes about, I would say, 10 minutes for the crystal effects to dry. So I have already done one ahead, so you, I won't make you wait 10 minutes. Here's what the new crystal effects looks like. Shimmery crystal effects. So it's sparkle. You can see it's got some glitter in it. Um, it will be in the holiday catalog. It's cheap. It's like four or five dollars um, and it goes a long way. And so crystal effects, we had crystal effects a long time ago and it was to create glossy accents. And so that's kind of the way I'm using it right now. I'm creating a glossy sparkle accent and it is pretty thick and I'm just putting a little dot in the center of each star. And it's going to be the difference from this and um, say, um, the Wing of Stella is that this is a raised, it's got texture to it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do all over, except I'm not going to take the time right now to do it, but that's what I did on the original. And for the magic of TV, 
here we have one that's finished. And can you guys see the shiny? I think one of my light bulbs is out. It seems a little darker in here today. Yes, shiny, shiny. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And those of you who were around a long time ago probably remember um, that Crystal Effects makes an excellent adhesive. <laughs> <laughs> that that crystal effects was in a much larger bottle um, this one is tiny so it would not go very far as an adhesive but if you're in a pinch and you need something really heavy like a heavy button or a heavy flower give the crystal effects a try okay now let's burnish all of these lines I'm going to show you how to put together this cute little parcel box it's got a very interesting um, closure and I will tell you when I first got it I could not figure it out. But then once I saw a video and I folded that completely wrong. What is wrong with me today? Let's fix it. Oh my goodness. Get it together. All right. Um, hmm. I would have to redo that if we weren't making a video. Uh, let's see. What was I saying? So yeah, I had to watch a video to figure out how to put it together. Um, but then once you do it once, it totally makes sense. See this one right here? We're gonna fold this one back. And these little score lines right here, make sure you do those and kind of wiggle them back and forth because they are important. You will see in a minute, they fold down and tuck into these little holes right here, okay? All right, so tear and tape is your friend with this project. I recommend tear and tape for sure. And you're just going to put tear and tape um, right here on these tabs. Yeah, Maggie, I, I used crystal back in the day when we had crystal effects before. It wasn't sparkly, and I used it a ton. So I'm happy to see it. And I actually really like the size of that container because if I remember correctly, the crystal effects would kind of dry out before you could use it all. Um, so I think a smaller container of it, not it wouldn't dry out, but it would get cloggy and you know, it was a really big container. So, and it's got a very low price point, which we all like, right? You can add it to an order without really noticing much of a difference. Okay, tear and tape right here on these tabs. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind when you put these together, see how this dips down right here? Initially, you're gonna wanna line this up with that tab, but or up here with this edge, okay? But look right here at this score line. See this score line here? You need these score lines to line up in the middle and this score line to line up at the bottom. So don't look up here, start at the bottom and make sure that those score lines line up and of course I gave me a horrible second score line that's not helping us. Um, and make sure the middle line scores, uh, middle score lines line up, okay? See how there's a notch that comes down? You're initially gonna wanna line it up with that edge and then everything's gonna be off. So don't do that, okay? So line up starting with the bottom and then the middle. Then turn it over and fold these and come over here and just match these up and they should fold right in half. Okay, and look, there's your box so far. I thought that this was the top, these curvy pieces, but they are not, they are the bottom, okay? And this is where we're gonna do something really weird. You're gonna fold this corner backwards towards the outside, and we're gonna put some glue on it, and we're gonna fold it down inside, and we're gonna fold this down inside and we're gonna smush them together. It's a very strange, but once you figure it out, it's, it's not difficult. You just have to kind of do it yourself, watch somebody, then do it, and then you're like, okay, I got it. So I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna use Tombow. You guys know how I feel about Tombow <laughs> and the, the liquid glue, but this is good for Tombow. So fold these sides in. Then take this one and fold it in, this one, and see how these are lining up here? It's hard to explain, but hopefully you can see. I've got some glue coming out. And then it just pops together. I gotta give it a minute to dry first. Let's give it a minute to dry. You know what, I'm gonna, 
Um, do I have a punch? I think I'm gonna let this dry while we make the tag because then the box will fold down flat for you. And if you don't have anything in it, so if you just wanted to make a bunch of them and fold them all flat and put them in a box, so you can pull them out when you need them. It's perfect for that. All right, so let's see. And this is something I should have done ahead of time too because we're gonna use that, that um, crystal effects again. This time, let's clean our cute little unicorn. This time, we're gonna stamp our unicorn in Highland Heather. Let me get a scrap piece. And just a little bit of, of her. Actually, no, we're not gonna use this one. We're gonna use the big one. Look at the big one. Isn't she cool? I love her. Just a little bit of it down here in the corner in Highland Heather. Okay, just a little bit. And then get your sentiment. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And we're gonna do that in Rococo Rose. All right. Now I'm gonna go back to my crystal effects and add some sparkle to her hair. And it's probably hard to see, but it really looks neat. It adds quite a bit. And how about her unicorn horn? I know some little girls who would love that. A unicorn with sparkly hair. So cute. All right, let's see if we've, we're dry enough. Yep, and see how that's gonna pop together right there. You know, every time I do this, when it's just me, it pops right together. And then when I make a video, it doesn't. There we go. Did you see that? Let's try it again. And then it pops right together, pop like that. And there's your box. All right, so you can put your unicorn poop or whatever you wanna put in here down in there. Okay, come on. Then you close these like this. See how these guys point out? And you fold them down and they tuck in right there. How cool is that? I've never had a box that um, went together like that. Very cool, very unique box. All right, we're gonna keep it simple and we're gonna put some braided linen trim right here. Hello everybody who's joining. Gina, what are you asking? Did I miss your comment? I'll go back and look in just a second and finish this. Because I, I don't want you to, I want you to know what you wanna know. All right, these are my favorite little mini library clips that are super tiny. And I'm gonna clip it on. You can't really get it around the knot, so you can do it just kind of around one of the loops. There we go. Ta-da! Can someone tell me if we can order Rococo Rose? Gina, Rococo Rose, you've been able to order from the beginning. It's the purple posy ink that we haven't been able to order. I think that's what you're asking. And it's coming. We can't order it yet, but it's very close. They've ordered it, they've got it, it's all good, it's coming, okay? So stay tuned. I will let you guys know as soon as I know. All right, yeah, Robin, really cool box, right? Very unique and different. All right, so project number two is done. I hope you guys like it. I've been wanting to use this, my stamp club. In fact, I wanted to show you guys, I posted it earlier in the week. I was gonna show you this month's stamp club project, the 3D garnet. I don't know if I, hmm, I don't know what I did with it, but I was gonna show you because they got a um, parcel box too. It's different than this one. It was, uh, what was it? Lovely lipstick. Oh, well, I don't know where mine went. But anyway, Stamp Club, my Stamp Club to go, guys, by the way, if you'd like to join September, I've got a new group starting and I send you three completed projects every month. And this, uh, they got one of these little boxes in August. Okay, let's do the last project. My husband's been gone a long time. I feel bad. It's taken him a long time to do the oil change. I'm very excited about this project. Can you guys tell what that is? That is embossing paste. And I have neglected my embossing paste for quite some time, and it's time for us to use it. Um, embossing paste is really, really fun. Uh, it is, um, well, I 
don't really think it's messy per se. It's messier than maybe just paper, obviously. But it's not as messy as pigment sprinkles, I can tell you that. Um, and it's fun. We have two different kinds of embossing paste, um, regular, which is what we're gonna use today. And then we have sparkle, uh, which I thought is what I was using, honestly. And I realized I had grabbed the wrong one. So we're just gonna stick with it. And we are going to um, use regular embossing paste. Now, we have masks over in the catalog with the embossing paste that you can buy to use, or you can create your own mask, which is what I've done. I used these, and these are, let me make sure I tell you the right name. I think I know what it, nope, I was gonna tell you the wrong thing. Tasteful Background Dyes. These three, they're in the annual catalog, and I used this one. I got a piece of, this is not cardstock, this is like the backing to our designer series paper, you know, the stiffer stuff. Um, and I made it four and a half by five, four and a half by five and a half, made it bigger. And then can you see I scored one inch lines on it to help me because the first time I did it, mine were all crooked. So if you score those lines in there, that way when you put it in there, you could even draw them with your pencil. Um, that way you can see where you're lining these things up. And I actually started here at the top made everything along that edge and along here. And then I did this one and made it along the bottom edge, okay? So I did four down and I used it a bunch. I was able to use it about 10 times. Um, and then you could just throw it away. You don't have to clean it. But we're going to make Rococo Rose embossing paste. You can um, color this stuff with reinkers, or uh, ink refills. So then you can make them any color you want. This is the silicone mat and the palette, the embossing palette tools. And one word of caution, and that's the reason I am doing this last, is that you have to clean, I added about four drops of Rococo Rose. You have to clean these quickly. You cannot let this stuff dry on your tools um, because it becomes concrete. <laughs> cement. Um, I have seen some people say they were able to get theirs off if they that after they accidentally left it, but I was not successful doing that. So I had to actually order another set of palette tools. Um, but just mix it up on your silicone sheet. All right. And the first time I did this, I made way too much and I probably made way too much this time. So I had extra cardstock there and I just used it all up on cardstock. That way, I'm not wasting it, and then I can just use it to make other cards. All right, so I've cut a piece of Rococo Rose cardstock in half. I have a bigger piece than what I actually need. Let me grab my painter's tape or washi, because I don't know where the painter's tape is. Let's use my Stampin' Up! washi tape. I'm just gonna put a little piece right here to hold that down, because remember, this piece is bigger than I need. And then I'm gonna take this and line this up in the corner and just put it down kind of in the same place, okay? Yes, Robin the new trimmer has a scoring tool, it does. Yes, it does. All right, now take a little bit and just start kind of smearing. This is fun, I like doing this. I feel like, I don't know, like a brick person who, you know, puts that beautiful grout down. I can never do that, but this is easy. And I'm just gonna kind of smear it around. One thing to remember about the embossing paste is that whatever it looks like wet is exactly what it's gonna look like dry. So if you leave like a chunk there, that chunk is gonna dry and it's gonna look just like that, but super hard and dry. So you want to scrape all the extra off. Okay, just go down with the edge of your palette tool. And, well, I just messed it up with my finger. Uh oh. I missed a little bit right there on the edge. Scrape that off again. And then when you take this off, ta-da, isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's so fun. So you can make masks um, of your own or you can use ours or, you know, you could use any of our dyes as a mask, anything that you want. You know what? I'm going to wipe that off real quick because I'm afraid the 10 minutes that I leave it sitting here and then I will be upset. So let me just wipe it off real quick. 
And then in a little while when I'm done, I will go and wash it. Okay. All right, so now that takes, and that probably takes, I don't, I wouldn't even say 10 minutes to dry. It really is very quick. Um, and I have done one ahead of time, of course. So here we go. I cut it down. Once it's dry, I cut it down to um, four, no, no, three and three-fourths by five, okay? So three and three-fourths by five. So I'm going to just put some dimensionals on the back here. Yes, Trisha, Trisha says, but that chunk is really awesome when you're making a brick wall. Yes, I will I will give you that, Trisha. But on this, I don't want any random chunks of <laughs> embossing paste. Yeah, I mean, it really can create a really cool look. Okay, now let's stamp our cute unicorn. And he's very vintage on here, right? We're going to only make him white and add a little sparkle to him. So I have cut out, and you know what? I don't think I put the measurements of this on today's PDF. So let's just measure it and see. This is the stitched rectangle that is three and a half by two and a fourth, okay? All right, now let me bring that paper back over right here. We're gonna stamp him in crumb cake ink, and he's not gonna fit, and that's okay. Come here, ink. I don't have to reach all the way over. There we go. We're gonna put him like that. All right, see, he's very pretty. Now I'm gonna take, this is the Whisper White Craft Pad. And I had a really old one and I just wanted to make sure the new one was the same, and it is. Um, you have to buy the pad because the pad comes uninked. There's no ink on it. You buy the pad and the ink refill and then when you get it you you know load it up um i don't totally know why they did it that way this time i think maybe it's because they were leaking in transit I, but that is a total guess on my part i'm not 100 percent sure all right so now i'm just going to take my aqua painter and i don't want it real i kind of just want it you know opaque not real dark so I'm just gonna go around and give him some white I've got too much water on this well that's kind of thick there but that's all right we'll make it work I, this is another card that's out on my desk for a while. I couldn't decide what else to add to it. And then I decided it didn't need anything else. I really like it. It has no bow on it, which is totally not like me, but I like it. I think that the embossing paste adds enough interest that you can just keep it simple. All right, we've got him nice and white, opaque white. Then, when he's dry, he mine's really wet, so we're gonna give him a second. We're gonna take the sentiment, which is, I don't know, where did it go? The whole thing is pretty wet. Let's see. I'm gonna wait and give mine a second, and I'm gonna look at your comments. Um, yep, Patty's right. You can order Real Cocoa Rose. It's Purple Pose Ink. Purple Posy Ink we can't order, but it's on its way. Yes, Trisha, we do not need chunky unicorn cards. <laughs> That's the same. That's so funny. You are correct. I was confused with the name of the ink. Yes. Okay, good. Here goes my budget again, Robin. Oops. Sorry. Y'all are so funny. All right. Have we dried enough? Take your Wink of Stella and just give it a little bit of shimmer. I feel like you can't really have a unicorn without some shimmer, right? I'm afraid to stamp my sentiment because things are pretty pretty juicy right here. So I think I'm gonna have to turn on my heat tool. Let's see if I can reach my heat tool without causing any big disruption. It's right here next to my camera setup and it likes to shake the camera. And it's not plugged in. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're leaving it. All right. I'm gonna go with early espresso ink. I wanted it dark and I 
re-inked my pad and it feels really juicy, but I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna just do it down here, right there. Ah, it's too wet. See how it's running? I should have waited. All right, but that's okay. We're going with it. All right, now, and I have a little hang on right here with cardstock there. Oh, that makes me sad. I'm not gonna actually stick it on because I'm gonna redo it after the video, but you guys get the idea, right? Once it's dry, completely stamp and attach like that. What do you guys think? Do you think it needs something else? An embellishment, a ribbon, a bow? I just didn't think it did. I really just liked it like that. Let's not look at this one anymore. It's making me sad. Hmm, very pretty. And it's just monotoned, so your eye really goes to that embossed background. What do you guys think? Hi, Alessandra, that's okay. Yes, Laura, I'm still live. Hanging on by a string. All right, you guys, what do you think? How many of you, well, you some of you told me you already have this beautiful stamp set, leave a little sparkle. Today I showed you three vintage themed, vintage inspired projects. Where's our other one? To use some more light colors rather than the big, bold, bright colors. I think it's fun and I think it gives this stamp set a totally different feel from the bright and the bold. Now remember, go over and get your PDF so you know exactly how to make all of your projects. Um, all the supplies are listed there. This project, I mean this Facebook Live will be recorded and it'll stay here on Facebook and I'll also put it over on YouTube if you wanna come back and look at it. Um, any of you who want the make and takes for free, put in your order by Monday, August 26th at midnight using this host code right here. And if you bump your order to 50, you're also gonna get a set of blends, stamp and blends of your choice for free. You gotta just email me and let me know which blends you want for every $50 you spend. All right, so it's a good time to order some things and get some things for free. Okay, you guys, that's it. If you have suggestions for me for Facebook Live for next week, let me know. I'm struggling, guys. I don't know what to do next week because it's almost holiday catalog time, but it's not yet. Hmm. I might do maybe a half and half. We'll have to see. So come back next Friday, 2 o'clock Central. I'll be right here with three new projects for you and probably quite a few sneak peeks, all right? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and don't forget to get your orders in. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye guys.